If you've been watching my content for a while, you probably know that I'm generally not a fan of other people's VR chat content, but I do look at what people upload. And the other week, I saw a video by Parzival called Eight Features That Could Revolutionize VR Chat. It's about time to do another feature showcase. In fact, he's made quite a few videos like that, and there are some good ideas in them. Personal favorites by me would be customizable loading screens, universal pens, request teleport. Really good ideas that I won't be discussing further in this video, but I feel like there's so much more. In fact, I asked everyone I know what they want, and you can probably guess what they all said. Age verification. Let's not s skirt around it, all right? They all said it, and it's, it's what people want. Now, I won't cover it in this video. I'll cover it in another video that I'm preparing, but there is a million other little things that VRChat could add and change, tweak, to make the experience overall so much better. I, I do have a list, though. I have a, I have a list of all the different updates that, that I want in the game, and we're going to go through each and every single one of them, but, th but they're separated into three different categories, things that regular people want, things that creators in general, avatar creators, world creators, what they want, and then uh, things that event organizers and, and event goers want. Because in my mind, those three, that's the game. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, if you lay down on the ground and see this guy, like, bro, I feel like I'm going to like my main character when we're in that holy trick. Like, I would get a painting like this. This is fire. And each update I'll be putting in a tier list. Oh, look, those updates that I mentioned earlier, they're already on it. Now, of course, this is the tier list of the order in which I want these updates to be released into the game. This is all subjective. This is all what I want in the game, right? This comes from someone who just makes videos and hangs out in friends pluses with a large group of femboys. You make your own opinions. Potential update number one, custom keybinds. Holy sh I can't believe they're not in the game already. That could be a terrible photo, we never know. That might be really bad. You see, there is a large amount of players that play VR chat on desktop. I'd say like 99% of VR chat players play on desktop like half the time. But in desktop, there is no custom keybinds. There isn't VR, but desktop, nothing. If I wanna change my push to talk button, nope. Change what button makes safe mode happen so I stop accidentally turning it on after tapping back in through the shift tab on Steam, nope, that should be in the game. For me, S tier. That's that's an S tier thing. Customizable keybinds, please, smile. Potential update number two, messages. Have you ever wanted to ask what somebody is up to without sending them an invite or request invite? Yeah, me too. You see, you shouldn't have to message somebody on Discord just to send a hello. VRChat added the ability to reply to an invite. All I want is to be able to send that reply with, without receiving an invite in the first place. Like, like add another option next to the invite and request invite that says message or something. Uh, and, and then it's the same system that's already in place for, for replies. I had some people say that they wanted like an instant messaging like Discord built into the game, but we don't need that. No need to change too much. I, I feel like this is a reasonable thing to ask for. And also allow us to reply to a reply. That's annoying as well. I like this. Not, not super necessary though. B tier. B tier. Status changes. Your status is basically whether or not anybody in the game can join you or not. You have blue, where anybody can join you at any time. Green, where anybody can join you as long as you're not in an invite or group world that they're not a part of. Orange, where nobody can join you unless they request off of you first. And then red, where nobody can do anything with you. But here's the thing, when you play this game, for a long time, you get a lot of friends. And with that, you get some friends who you don't want to join you. I'm somebody who exists always on green. I'm always on green. Anybody on my friends list can join me at any time. I, I enjoy just being in Friends Plus worlds. This world I'm recording in right now is a Friends Plus. Anybody could join. But there's some people on my friends list who I don't really want them to join me. The leg is so bad, Tara. I think I only have like half of <laughs> There's so many people here. I can't wait till it turns out. <laughs> Most people are robots right now.
What if you could choose what status you appear as to specific people? This guy I like. I appear green. This guy I don't really want to join because he ruins the vibe every single time he does. Orange. You know what I mean? I get that you could just be on orange all the time and then you would never have this problem. But come on. I don't... I don't like that. I, I hate people living on orange. But I like the idea of being orange for some and green for others. It's just not that urgent. Or, or necessary. D tier. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give that one D tier. World exploration changes. You know, after the world creator video I made, there were changes on the world's tabs. Good changes. Big ups VR chat. But there is still some things to improve. Something Parzival mentioned in one of his eight updates to make you a VR Chat Gooner series was the ability to like worlds or rate worlds. Another thing was world previews to see what the world looks like without joining it. Basically, when world hopping, you have no knowledge of what you're getting yourself into besides the tags that the author includes and uh, the thumbnail uh, and title of the world itself. Will it be good? I don't know. You're going to have to join to find out. The most popular worlds are not the best worlds by far. At the top of new and noteworthy now is usually clickbait erotic pictures and names with a prefab world once you get in. A rating system of some sort? In order to filter that sh out, I would love. New worlds that are good being put into a vetted category constantly, updating weekly or monthly would be kind of awesome. I feel like Spotlight is lacking in that regard. There's so many good worlds that get crowded out by clickbait quest compatible worlds and, and then forgotten. An update to change that, A tier, for sure. And some advice to the players that want to find those good worlds and don't know where to look, check out a world called World Repository. It's a world that has portals to other worlds that are usually pretty good and it's updated relatively consistently. Check it out. Badges. In VR chat, there is there is a, a badge section on your profile. But there's only, right now, uh, three badges in the game that I know about. There's there's the early supporter badge, the VR chat plus uh, badge, and, and then another for people who have done a lot to help the game that you rarely see. I think there should be more badges. I'm, I'm not alone in that, for sure. I have the belief that badges should only be given out to people who uh, help the game in some way. It's a it's a pat on the back for doing something good. I, d I don't want to see creator badges or I attended this event badges. I think those are stupid and, and create FOMO. FOMO isn't something that you want. The only kind of badge that I'd be okay with that in that regard, it already exists. It's the early supporter one. I'd also probably be okay with uh, winner of World Jam number 69 badges or something. Now, here's here's some ideas uh, to explain what I mean by helping the game. Uh, first is a bug bounty badge. Now, there's plenty of people who have found massive bugs in the game and reported them with no reward. I understand if you can't afford a huge bug bounty like program. You're not Microsoft, but they should still get something. Without them, your game would be broken. Give them a, a bug bounty badge. Make it a little white hat or something. That would be nice. And make people actively want to report more bugs just to get that badge. Another one maybe would be like years of VR chat plus support. They get an update every year with, with, with a number that goes up. Kind of like how Club Penguin did for its members back in the day. I'm sure other people can come up with more, but but that's the gist. More badges for people that help the game thrive. A tier. Smile. Wow. <laughs> the land of Hypatia. Right, send my regards to uh, my liege. It's been a while since I visited the land of Hypatia. I may have separated the updates into those for regular players, creators, and events, but I think they all affect everybody. Also, please, if there are any update ideas you want to see in the game, I highly recommend you check out the feature recommendation section of the VR chat feedback boards and upvote potential updates you want. I've linked posts that discuss everything I talk about in this video, so if you like the ideas, upvote them. Unlike videos like this, it's where the VR chat devs actually look to find out ideas. Creator economy. Now this, this is something we've all been expecting. The creator economy came out a while ago 
and uh, nothing's really been done since. Going back, uh, one, one of the big things with age verification is VRChat is wondering how to fund it. It would be expensive. The creator economy is, is one of VRChat's revenue streams, and further expanding it could help fund future updates that we as a community want, like, like age verification. The question is, in what way do you expand it? Well, that's, that, that's by looking at what people spend money on for, for VRChat. One thing people spend money on is, is Patreons, for, like, for, like for VIP access and worlds, which is already in the creator economy. The only other thing that pops in my mind besides that is, is avatars. People buy avatars. People sell avatars. And selling avatars directly to consumer through VRChat? I, th I think this would be a massive update. To the game. Like, it would be controversial in the avatar creator sphere, especially, but regular players wouldn't give a sh. I actually think having an in game avatar market would also fix a few other problems that people keep bringing up about the game. Centralization and optimization are the bit, are the only. That's it. That's. I don't think. VR chat would want over sexualized avatars on their in game market. So they'd have guidelines in place that keeps things more tame. People would end up using it for sheer convenience, and then you'd end up seeing less sexual avatars everywhere in general. Optimization is the same. Extremely unoptimized avies just wouldn't be accepted on the market, making the whole experience for everybody better overall. The existing market wouldn't be too affected, it, it would still exist for the people who want those types of avies. But it would be an easier, more accessible way to get avies for the regular player. I'm, I'm telling you, like, people would use this. I'd give this one an A tier. Pretty high up. Camera changes. Now you probably thought of creator as world creators and avatar creators, but I'm a creator too. All right, I want more options on my camera. Now, I'm, I'm a firm believer that if the resources for creating content are in the game, you'll get more good content out of the game. The current camera is great, it is, compared to back what it was back in the day. Holy, flying, pins, focus. You forget those things weren't available in the old camera. Now what else could you add to the camera though? The ability to focus each mask instead of everything so that you can have players, for example, always be in focus would be amazing. Filters for brightness, saturation, contrast, etc. with the camera would be insane. Right now the filters part just doesn't do anything. It just adds an overlay to the camera. Who wants who wants this? Or this? It's kind of cool. I don't know when any of these will, would be that useful. Very specific circumstances. You could add more. You could definitely add more filters. A dolly system? So you could make smooth flyovers and worlds, placing pins around and having them fly in between would be also crazy. Basically, it shouldn't be up to the player to buy a VRC lens, to buy a camera path, to buy a placeable light, to put them on an avatar just so they can then get good, clean footage. If it was built into the game, you'd get more good content and good creators out of the game. I, I, I genuinely believe that. But it's not urgent, so B tier. I want, I want this. I want, I want this. Safety changes and better performance stats. I think a lot of people, creators especially, wish for performance stats that reflect what's on an avatar appropriate. I'm not an expert on this, so I asked a few experts who, who, who aren't really experts, they just know a lot more than me. And one of the things that continuously gets brought up is animator layer count. Right now, there's not really anything for that. That's the animation wheel that lets you toggle things. It'd be a good stat to have. See, an avatar can be labeled green and still have 50,000 toggles on it, which makes it worse in terms of performance than most very poor avatars. As avatar creators get better at making avatars, as avatar creators realize what they can do and get away with to make a green avatar, they use and abuse those things. So those things need to be addressed as they come up. Which brings up another topic. If you're lagging in game, it's really hard to figure out what's lagging you out. And it's usually somebody's avatar. Now, of course, you can say, use your safety settings better and you'll have no problem. But I do use my safety settings and I still lag out. So one thing that would be nice to have is an ability to measure frame time on an avatar. In-game avatar profiling. I want to be able to click on somebody and know how that avatar is impacting me. Not just know its stats, but be told directly, hey, this avatar is 
fucked up your frames. Maybe I'm using the default settings and, and he's a trusted user, so he got past all of the safety that you set up before. Or maybe he's a friend of yours and they're just using a new avatar and it's you up and you have no idea. I want to be able to know. Measure the frame time on the avatar and, and just tell us exactly which ones are good and which ones are bad so we know what to block. Another great feature to have tying into that would be the ability to block avatars based off of those individual stats. Right now you have the ability to block an avatar based off of download size and a few other things. Say we're able to measure the frame time on an avatar, then you could just block all avatars that have a frame time higher than whatever. That would be incredible. I'm, I'm giving this S tier. This, this is, this is big. This is, a, this is world's like super okay. This, this is like my like mega aesthetic as far as the world. This is so cozy. <laughs> Dr. Pepper, my brother, another for your mother, uh, double, double, super size, and don't forget the fries. I didn't catch that. Could you repeat it? I'll just take a water. Instance avatar limits. Maybe you've never been to an event, so you don't know. But if you have, you know that getting 80 people in a small room, you need people to use good rated avatars. Otherwise, you or your photographer, when you show everyone just so you can get a cool picture, they're gonna die. I, I, I wanna show everybody in the world so I can get good footage of people with their avatar as it's supposed to be seen instead of hidden shaders or just a robot. But there's no way to really enforce a green avatar policy except for just telling people and then kicking out those who refuse. There needs to be a better way to make these events run smoother, to make it a better experience for everybody in the game overall. I think there should be an option when you make an instance to limit the quality of avatar that is allowed in that instance. And if they join in a very poor avatar, it'll force them into a robot and they can see that they're forced into a robot and then they can't change into another very poor avatar. They would have to use a green one. They would have to use good or excellent. If that was enforced, if people had to be in those avatars, they would use those avatars. And then every time somebody joins the world, you wouldn't fucking crash because you're not loading a new very poor avatar. Then you could make it be able to be bypassed by a roll or something. So so staff or whatever can still use very poor avatars. This would be huge for events, all types of events. I think it, I think it's this way. S tier. S tier. In the last update, I'll mention events calendar. This is something every avid event goer wishes to have a vr chat supported events calendar like something like a group based event system some people would benefit a lot especially finding communities uh, owners can plan an event there's an event in like three hours and kind of have a calendar can favorite an event i think that would allow new people in vr chat to find communities currently the only calendars that exist is the dj event calendar at vrc.tl and then individual calendars you can find in people's Discord servers. What if we had a calendar in game? Now I see two ways it could go. One is a, a VR chat global calendar. It would have all of the big events on it and you could just check it to see what's going on. Or my personal favorite that a friend of mine came up with, personal calendars. Have each group be able to make their own calendar with events put on it, and each individual player has their own personal calendar of their own that they can then add those events from the group calendar into. It gives being in these groups and keeping up with what's going on in the groups meaning. I don't think groups should just be a way to have stupid words above your head. Most players' names are already stupid enough. Groups should be a way for communities to share what's going on and host events in a smooth, frictionless way, where members of the group never need to leave VR chat to see everything they need. A tier for sure. That, that's great. I, I, I would love that to happen. And that's all I got. There's definitely other updates people want in the game. Age verification, I know, and many others. I'm curious what your guys' thoughts are, and I pray that some of these ideas get tracked and put on the roadmap. But we'll see. Thanks for watching.
key lines. Right and do the time. Have like uh, right? Right? Clem's rule, uh, Goob's rule, wait. <laughs> <laughs>